we got we got to go with we're trying to ascend we got to ascend to the fifth dimension that's what we're about you know what i mean your light body is the real you once they try to take me out, once my body dissipate, I'm finna just go to where I'm supposed to go, back to my original home, you feel me? So I'm not even tripping off of none of this shit, you feel me? I, I'm not this carcass, I'm not this, uh, the Nephilim, Anaki motherfucking Orion body that you see right now, no. I am the soul essence of the creator inside of me that you can't see. My life body, you feel me? So, yeah. But, and, you know what I mean? You gotta watch out for shadow people and background people. There's entities and the demons and everything that's eating off your energy as we speak right now. When you're not right, the lower your frequency, the more they when they jump onto you and attach to your fucking auric field, and they fucking start trying to take you out the game and start making you destroy yourself. Cause that's all we is like. We're cattle, bro. Like they want us to be just like the. The cows, the chicken, the dog, you know what I mean? The cows, the chicken, the pigs, the shit. Niggas is eating, niggas eating dogs too, nigga. I don't, but you feel me? Like, niggas eat everything. Nigga, like, like motherfucking termites and shit. You feel me? Like, this shit is crazy, nigga. Niggas eating cats from motherfucking Chinese food, nigga. This shit is all bad, nigga. Like, niggas just cannibals, nigga. Eating, eating people now, nigga. This shit, is, this shit is all sick, nigga. And I'm not falling for it, nigga. So it's like, people is, uh, this shit is disgusting, bro. You know what I mean? And that's what they want you to lower your en energy so you could get ate up by the fucking fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional beings that you can't see. You know what I mean? They use your body and your vessel and they start doing fucking perver perversion, perverbious acts, per perversion, sexual shit. You feel me? Turn the niggas gay that ain't gay. Motherfucking like, if you gay, that's on you. You feel me? But there's certain demons and shit and sex wives that prevent people from getting... Uh, significant others and everything else, you feel me? So that's why you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful what you who you deal with, who you fuck with. It's sex, sex is a sexual energy exchange. You feel me? So you have to be careful who you around because they be having hella multiple sex partners, having hella orgasm and hella other cords that they have to sever and tie. Like every sex partner you, you go with, they have a cord that's attached to them. You feel me? And then they come over there and they fuck you and then now the person you have sex with bringing they bullshit and they fucking demons and all that shit they was dealing with connected to your ass now. Now you gotta fucking do clearance and affirmations and shit to cut cords and heal and meditate. Yeah, nigga, this shit is real, nigga. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You can't tell me and not a damn lie. I could tell you about yourself more than you could tell me about what this shit. I ain't saying it's the truth, nigga. I'm an old soul, nigga. I've been in this shit. Been put my life on the front line for the humanity, nigga. Took a bullet for the shit. You feel me? So it is what it is. It's all off love, though. But yeah, the affirmations, though. Yeah, you have to use affirmations, man. You have to go to uh, binaural beats. You feel me? You have to do this, do these things in life, because if you keep just following out the next person, like this shit that I'm telling you, it's worth millions. I already know it is. But I'm doing it because I love y'all, you feel me? So it is what it is, you feel me? I'm always keep this video in the archives for just like for next generation, you feel me? Yeah. Just because I, this information is universal, it's gonna help everybody. So basically affirmations is, uh, your mind is basically a computer. You know, your whole body's a computer. The shit we model up is a computer. So basically you have to just always know that you can get diseases, you can get viruses, you can get, uh, you have to have malware or, or you have to have fucking anti-virus shit, you feel me? And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to program you to do what they want you to do with the TVs and the movies and the music, headphones and all this shit. They try to fuck up your vibration and make you lower and then buy shit they want and then do you dirty. So basically, like, the affirmations is uh, to counteract that. They have affirmations for all the healing. So basically all the all the hurt you've been dealing with, all the pain, they have affirmations for that. All the uh, lies, all the uh, trauma, all the drama, all the shit, they have affirmations for that for you, so you can release it and so you can start new. And so you could reprogram yourself from the shit they counteract with. That's how I, I use those every day. I use binaural beats, feel me, frequencies, all that shit, uh, affirmations on YouTube for free to heal myself, you feel me, to from the counteractive bullshit I see in the world every day, you feel me? So it's not 
and, and I'm, I'm grateful the creator gave me this information so I don't have to be stuck in, in trying to uh, do all this shit, you feel me? So, yeah, man, you need to go get on them affirmations and the binaural beats on YouTube now as soon as you see this shit. So basically, they got the Akashic Records, which I'm actually tapped into, you feel me? That's why I know all this information, like the back of my hand, like, I'm actually attached to the Akashic Records, me being a Blu-ray Twin Flame, so I have the direct connection to all the things said and done before in history. You know what I mean? The, one, the connection that Nikola Tesla was talking about, talking about, all right, I know there's a universal intelligence that can be tapped into. I just haven't got there yet. Well, I got lucky enough to be the one to do that, you feel me? So, you know what I mean? So, people saying, you can't do this, you can't do that. Those are, those are let me get, let me tell you the difference. You feel me? I'm an old soul. So they got, they got infant souls. They got infant souls that just came on this earth, that just, been born you feel me their only thing is survival that's all they know is to how to survive a to b you feel me yeah that's all that's their whole mentality you know what i mean and then they tell you you can't do shit you know what i mean then they got the then they got the uh baby souls which is basically structured people that i can't live outside you know what i mean i i have to have a house i have to have a home i have to have rules regulations i have to have this if i don't have this my mind is you feel me the niggas that can't cross the street if it's even if the noble cars is coming they'll stop until the sign says walk you feel me those type of niggas those are baby souls niggas and they're the sick part about it they're creating these fucked up laws in america you feel me they're, they're the one that's corrupting the whole the world and doing everything that's making it fucked up because they're getting shit handed down from fucking artificial intelligence that's telling them to do this shit and, that's, and they're thinking they're doing it by love and like that's the right thing to do but then they're fucking fucking it up for everybody else you feel me so then the same with the police nigga the idea look the idea of protect and serve how the fuck this shit get so misconstrued nigga protect and serve that's it protect and serve nigga that's all you have to do but no these niggas is killing niggas doing all this other shit that has nothing to do with it off of their fucking ego and their cause it's a gender nigga they, they want you done they want us done they want niggas like me my melanated people or black people that is from the fucking creator original people they want us done bruh because they know that there's gonna be another one that's gonna wake the whole shit up they know it nigga and I hope I'm that nigga too I'm not afraid nigga fuck it them niggas you feel me so you know what i mean i'm i'm here for humanity but i'm here for my people too nigga i'm here for my you know what i mean my ancestors this is what's inculcated inside of me you feel me my heart my pride and everything so i love my black people and i understand what they're doing to us in america at all times and they keep trying to play us and acting like we're dumb and shit and all this other shit and they keep trying to whitewash our fucking inventions and do all this other shit and nigga mozart was black i barely knew that Feel me? Like, they kept trying to say he was white. They kept showing the white people, nigga. Cesar Borgia, Jesus, nigga. That shit ain't real, nigga. Jesus is black like me, nigga. You feel me? The real one, Yeshua. You feel me? That Jesus is that man made shit. You feel me? Took the story from Haru. You know what I mean? It gets deep, bro. Just know I know what's up. So then, yeah, uh, always praise the the ancestors you feel me i love my ancestors that's those are the people that basically funded it and made everything go how it is right now they give me the information and the guide and the heart and the light to be doing this right now you feel me this whole hour rant you know what i mean it's gonna be long it's gonna be long just pay, bear with me because i'm getting this all out of my chest so i only have to say it once so i can just sit back down and just know you feel me that i was i was i was a fighter i was a survivor i did things in my life i didn't just sit down and let everything act like it you know what i mean you got to be strategic in how you battle like if i went out there and started saying this shit and just start protesting and calling uproar nigga i got killed in my past life being a martyr nigga i'm not letting that shit go down this year or this time nigga so i'm just gonna give you the the tidbits and everything the information i'm supposed to give you feel me and just know you know what i mean we're born creators we're here to create that's all we are, you feel me? And I'm a channeler. I channel this information from the higher cosmos, you feel me? And it comes down and it comes to you like this in a silver platter, all layman's terms. And so you can understand it, you feel me? So that's all I'm trying to do is just wake as many people up 
that I can have free minds and know that you was not born wrong. Everybody has a purpose. Even if you've seen somebody else doing something that's not their, your purpose, that means we're not fucking carbon copies. We're all individual lives. You feel me? And I care and cherish my life dearly, nigga. I want a hundred fucking million dollars, nigga. And that's what I believe I deserve, nigga, off the shit I know, nigga. And I don't care about what anybody fucking got to say trying to project they bullshit on me. Trying to tell me that, oh yeah, you you're just another nigga. You just no, nigga. I know what the fuck. I know self knowledge of self, nigga, and I know who the fuck I am. And I'm t hoping to wake up a whole lot of other brethren that don't feel me. And with open up the consciousness. You feel me? Consciousness is just awareness inside of you, knowing that what's being aware and knowing being awake about what's going on in life. You feel me? There's a lot of fake woke people. You feel me? I'm not one of them. I'm tired of people trying to say fake woke, fake woke, fake woke, nigga, and trying to fuck the whole game up for real woke, niggas. I'm really woke, nigga. I was born woke, nigga. My name is Joshua, nigga. I'm spiritual, nigga. And I'm going to do the thing just like when Moses handed me. I'm the successor. I'm going to make this shit go down, nigga. I'm tired of fucking playing with these games, this fucking lollygagging ass shit, nigga. Fuck that. So you feel me? And yeah, it's Dharma. Dharma is all the things you've done in your collective life. And that's why certain people got different um, outcomes and what's going on. In situations, you feel me? That's why people got better lives than other people because their past previous lives and all the acts and consequences of it. You feel me? They got, they got the shit short end of the stick because they fucked up in their past life, nigga. Don't feel sorry for him, son. I mean, I feel sorry for everybody, but that's what it is, bro. You gotta keep it a hundred. Then you gotta keep it a buck. That certain niggas ugly as fuck because they they soul is ugly, nigga. You feel me? That's what it is, nigga. And I'm not even trying to like you feel me. Act like I'm the most handsome, nigga. But I ain't ugly, nigga. And that must mean I got a good soul, a good spirit, and a good kind heart, nigga. So it is what it is. You feel me? So you know what I mean? Niggas gotta gain their way to enlightenment. You feel me? You gotta be enlightened on this path. You feel me? It's a it's a long journey, a lifetime. You feel me? Not just one fucking day, nigga. Life, the whole life, nigga. So when I get older, I'm even know even more. You feel me? So that's what's scary for other people. And fucking, but yeah, you go esoteric, esoteric information, occult information. Yes, that's the hidden. That's the hitting stuff that they're using to manipulate and mass uh, manipulate the uh, masses and control the mind of the person. They're using dark magic. They're using uh, dark mages. They're using dark everything to uh, keep us in its a susceptible uh, bind. So we actually accept this shit. That's why you'd be like, "Oh, I want peace and happiness, nigga." No, you don't, nigga. Y'all be out brainwashed and fucking want uh, destruction and chaos, nigga. You don't even know why. That's why niggas conscious rappers like Common and fucking D1 and uh, Lecrae can't even fucking get a break in the industry. But then you gonna listen to uh, fucking all these other weak ass niggas, bruh. All these other niggas talking about killing themselves and using drugs and popping pills and doing all this other shit that's destructive, nigga. Like, you feel me? Because they fucking control the shit to make it like this. You feel me? That's why everybody that they try to do good is always ridiculed because... They know about it. Niggas got brainwashed and duped, and they, they like, you feel me? Like, they, they set shit up. You feel me? They set shit up. Sacrifices, Illuminati sacrifices, RP my nigga chinks, bro. I already know you was sacrificed by French Montana and Diddy, nigga, so, you feel me? Like, because you was a solid nigga in the fake ass industry. Staying with Jim Jones, did my nigga stack bundles, nigga. You feel me? Like, staying with Biggie, got did by Diddy again, nigga. Like, this shit is real, nigga. I don't know what the fuck niggas think it is. <laughs> my consciousness level goes different levels, a raise. You feel me? Different shit, but yeah. The cult, spiritualism, all that shit, yeah. They're using this shit against us. And that, and that's African spirituality. That's the sick part about it. Voodoo, vo voodoo. You know what I mean? That's that is ours. That's our shit. That's from the, our people. And then they demonize it and try to say that we're the devils and but they're using it to use against us. And then when you wake up and start understanding what's going on, they, they out of their fucking fucking religions and shit. That's the demon, nigga, the fake ass religion. If why can't it just be I love you? 
What's all this other shit to fuck your head up, nigga? Love is the only real religion. All this other shit is just to get you confused with your ego to make you feel like you're somebody different. I love this God, so I can't be you. You know what I mean? But, nigga, we got the same mechanics. We got the same eyes, same nose, same other shit. But I can't be you. We're all humans in this human experience. And all religion is human shit. So, that's what I'm saying in that aspect. But in the spirit side, soul side, you can't be me. That's real. You can't. Nigga, I'm me, nigga. 100%. I'm an old soul. I went through my incarnation. I busted my ass throughout my lifetime to do what the fuck I got to do to be who I am, nigga. And, I, and you feel me? It is what it is. You got to do that too. So you can't be me. I can't be you. Just be happy with that. Stop trying to copy my swag. Stop trying to uh, swagger jack me, nigga. Stop trying to get the essence and ooze. You know what I mean? You can't, nigga. It's one of a kind like a snowflake. Like I told you, nigga. So anyways, you know what I mean? We, gonna be, we already here for eternity. Eons, nigga. We are a piece of this creator. We can never die. We can never... Nothing can ever happen to us. Our only body is only going to dissipate to different realms. You feel me? And then later we're going to go and do our other things for the cosmic realm. You feel me? So don't ever be afraid to die. Don't ever be afraid to, of, of death. And don't ever be afraid of anything. You feel me? But the death is in the word of the tongue. You feel me? So understand what words you use at any given time. They could come back and haunt you. You feel me? They could come back and people hear certain things and then they do certain things to you so yeah, I'm just giving it a word of advice be careful what you say and then the universe will give you what you feel in your heart you deserve and if you doing certain things that you're not supposed to do it's gonna be over they're gonna come back and it's gonna backfire you feel me so I told the universe I wanted to save the world I wanted to be the person that do change a lot of people's minds I, I wanted to be that person so that's what I, the universe is telling me to do at this moment. So when I send this video out, it's going to touch a whole lot of people. You know what I mean? It's going to make a whole lot of sense. So you have to always know about faith healing. Keep your faith number one. Faith throughout everything. There's a higher, higher entity, higher power, higher something. You feel me? Because when you don't have that faith and don't have that higherness, you... you tend to go astray and get lost you feel me and that's what happens to a lot of people they don't they don't believe themselves they don't believe the next thing the doctorate and they get indoctrinated and then they start wanting to do things have suicidal tendencies start doing bad shit you know nah, bro like you feel me life is life live it love it to the fullest and don't ever uh sell yourself short for your self-worth so it's about So it's about the, uh, fasting. You have to. You don't have to. I'm gonna probably start doing it. But fasting, basically, just detoxifying yourself from all the uh, food, the GMO food that we've been eating, all the fake, artificial candies, and all the shit that they give us every day. To make, basically, we go to work seven days a week to kill ourselves. You feel me? You go seven days a week to pay rent that you can barely afford. You go to work seven days a week to work at a job that's killing you on the inside and stress you out and to provide for your kids. They, but I'm trying to break that paradigm. I don't, I'm tired of doing the same cycle shit. I feel like a gerbil. I feel like a hamster in a fucking cage doing the same shit every day at a job I hate just living life or trying to live life trying to get money and they, they put a price tag on you nigga you $15 an hour nigga you $20 an hour nigga you this nigga there's no price on my fucking life I'm not a fucking canned soup condensed soup nigga I, I, I negotiate the prices nigga I'm the fucking creator nigga I do this shit I'm not I don't got no low self esteem nigga I know the fuck I am at all times you feel me so it's like that's what I'm saying. We have to, we have to one, one, each one teach one, nigga. So you know what I mean. You gotta make this shit happen. You gotta make this shit go down how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? They got, they got different things. You feel me? They got, they got different things like I Ching to to I Ching the tarot cards, everything to monitor spirit to see what's going on. Cause people think that they're 
there's no spirit like there's no god there's no nothing like this whole thing is not getting watched this shit getting monitored nigga this is bigger than big brother this is the biggest brother you feel me like the biggest father nigga and father and mother god nigga that's watching everything you know what i mean and you reap what you sow you get what you put out on the earth and existence according to your law of attraction or what you're lined up in your body and your being and your magnetism is going to get you feel me that's what you get when you feel like you're not nobody you bring nobody motherfuckers around you you feel me when you feel like you're the shit you're gonna catapult to people that are, are feel like you that's we're just it's this big ass magnet and according to how you feel that's why feelings and emotions is the most thing that they try to deter you from you feel me they try to make you emotionless they try to make you care about things that don't really matter so then you don't get your just doing your reap reward and you start bramming the creator and start saying oh god didn't give me what i wanted because you, you was not in alignment you was not in alignment you just was just walking around kept fucking around and not doing shit you you supposed to do nigga my biggest thing is inner healing that's what i kept on my mind heal myself love myself because i was at a distraught ass time at one point i didn't even think i could do this i didn't even think i had no confidence no courage no nothing you feel me but now I'm not afraid of nothing and I'm able to speak my truth and don't care about what people think about it. You know what I mean? Because it's my truth. I'm living in these shoes. It's my journey, my path, my fucking thing. That my, my faith and my creator, nigga. Not, not what they think because they're a creation too. They just ain't doing their job. They ain't doing what they supposed to. So they get mad at you when you start throwing ripples and uh, pebbles in the motherfucking creation. You feel me? And they go, oh yeah, this nigga talking. This nigga talking the truth. I can't hit I wish I could do that. Yeah, you know I mean, I understand, nigga. I already know. I've been on this earth too many times, nigga. I'm not falling for this fucking shit that y'all falling for. That's why I'm telling you all the fucking things so you don't fall for it either, nigga. I could have been a dick and I'd been like not saying nothing, nigga. Just be like, I know what I know. Live my life, nigga. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get this to the world. I want everybody to wake up and so that their kids ain't having to deal with this shit no more. So they ain't having to deal with this shit no more, nigga. You know what I mean? So they could. And so a dad could listen, listen to this shit, take heed of the advice, and they'd be like, yeah, my, you know what I mean? Look like a, a respectable parent doesn't be in a deadbeat, nigga. You feel me? Or at least a mama would take care of the kids. You feel me? Be like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Something, nigga. Something has to come, good has to come out of this shit. So you feel me? Though? That's why I'm saying that one thing they wanted to take away from you is your inner peace, man. And a lot of people don't got inner peace, you feel me? Inner peace is something that no money can buy on this earth, nigga. No jewels, no cars, no nothing, nigga. Inner peace in yourself, you feel me? That's what they can't get. And that's why they try to take it away from you, make you stressed, make you over, feel over exhausted, nigga. Go to work. Oh, blah. yeah, I can't get no peace. Peace of mind. Yeah, you can't get it because they, this is shit is destroyed to distract your ass, nigga. This is fucking it. The Matrix, they can kill your ass, nigga. Like you think? that's why they don't want you to have nothing. They don't. They want you to use you as a battery to fucking uh to power this shit. And then, oh yeah, good riddance, nigga. Just like work, nigga. Y'all ass going to work, busting your ass. Hey, what's up, Frank? How you doing? We've been here. We've been. <laughs> we've been uh, like on Dave Chappelle, nigga. When Frankenstein went in a motherfucking uh. You've been breaking a lot of furniture, Frank. Yeah, you know I mean, like niggas ready to fire your ass, nigga. They don't, they don't care about you, nigga. That's is real, nigga. R.P. Charlie Murphy, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, watch out, man. You gotta watch out. This is the meaning of life, bro. You gotta understand metaphysics. You have to understand all the the tools and guides that's out here giving. You feel me? You have to take heed to the soul inside you, the spirit that's inside you is always trying to elevate. You have to do this. You feel me? Like you have to do this. Not me. I did my work. You have to do this now. You feel me? I did it. I'm an A plus plus student, nigga. You feel me? I was on this life shit. You know what I mean? That's why I, that's why I study mysticism. I'm a fucking shaman, bro. You know what I mean? The path chose me to be a shaman. I'm with good with nature. Uh, you know what I mean? I love being in nature. I love, like, cultivating energies, healing people with my words. You know what I mean? Like, this is my path. I'm not running and running away from my path. I'm here to heal people. I'm here to help people. I'm here to do everything. I'm a shaman. You feel me? And my mysticism. And this new age era that they want to call it new age, which is really old because it's, it's only new on the Western civilization. But Eastern civilization, all the Indians and all the Asians and all the, you know what I mean, China and all that shit, they've been doing this shit. They've been more holistic and we're more left-brained. They're more right-branded. 
Oh, we're more right brainy. They're more left brainy. You feel me? They were, they're more about the uh, about the consciousness, and we're more about the physical. You know what I mean? Logical ass shit, scientific shit. They don't understand it. Like we don't understand the uh, spiritual side. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm putting my two cents in so I can achieve Nirvana like Kurt Cobain. Not like Kurt Cobain, but like the group Kurt Cobain was part of. You feel me? You know what I mean? So the, if anything happened to me, know that I didn't do nothing to myself, nigga. Like these niggas conspired to set me up, try to slip Mickeys in my drinks, trying to write death notes and shit. You feel me? They, yeah, these niggas did it. I didn't. No, I love life too much. I love my career too much. I love everything too much to ever try to harm myself. So just know I was never a bitch on my whole existence of living. You feel me? Like everybody else, you feel me? They they doing their life, but I'm not even hurting nobody. And niggas is mad at me for being me, nigga. Because that's how, that's how catastrophic it could be for motherfuckers. You feel me? So that's why I'm going to always be me 100%. You have to, you have to get out the non-dual dualism we're living in the world of duality you feel me good bad yin yang up down yeah left right nigga like you have to be you have to, to ascend you have to be on that one path you feel me but while you're down here you can do the great path that's what i'm doing i will be the nigga ass you feel me i'll be the nigga ass if he hate me for pre pre preaching peace you feel me? That's the only way. Like, if I'm saying, I'm going to love people. and it, No, you fucking with that love shit. Pow, nigga, get the business, nigga. You feel me? And I don't think I'm going to get, it ain't going to do nothing wrong. Because I, I, I had good intentions. So it's all about your intentions anyway. So it's like, I'm just here to set in life. Set all this shit. Guys, just be, be a beacon for this world. You know what I mean? Stop with all the labels. Just stop. Just stop with all the stuff that's going on right now. You feel me? Because this, this is really getting to a point. This is really getting to that point. Critical mass, like I said. I might, I might name this critical mass because that's how I felt. Critical mass. Because it's getting to that point. You feel me? And look. See? That's my life. That's that's my, you feel me? So, you know what I mean? Just keeping it a hundred. So we're in, we're in the end of the, we're in the end of the days, last days, you feel me, of the golden age. So it's best to just get on the positivity hype right now so you will be ahead of the curve. Because if you're not on that hype right now, you're gonna be left in the dust and you're just following some shit that's going down drain. That's some real shit, you feel me? And it's all about elevating. Trying to achieve Zen, the per perfect bliss and everything, you feel me? Like, it's all about salvation and trying to do your best, you know what I mean? also been assigned you can go look this up too you feel me the archangel michael michael's teachings.com and it's basically telling you about soul the soul ages and our roles on earth and our beliefs and attitudes and goals we all got different things so it's michael's teachings.com you feel me so talking about like i was telling you about the infant souls the baby souls the young souls the mature souls and the old souls, you feel me? So basically the young the good back to it, the young souls are the people that are all about money over everything that's out here that's like 
they don't care about the money and independence and they don't listen to nobody and they're trying to find themselves and the whole thing is just to achieve and have success that's what they're focused on mature souls on the other hand is about relationships between people and relationships in life you feel me and adjusting to uh living with people and coexisting on this earth you feel me so that's what the mature souls is you know what i mean and then the old souls like myself is just to learn tell people about the life existence and knowing that we're all connected and showing people uh what's going on in the world you feel me and making shit all the glue you feel me everybody has their purpose everybody has their reasons of living you feel me and the old souls to show people that shit because we've been through this life for so long incarnating over and over and now it's our turn to give our wisdom and guidance and make everything possible you feel me so that's what i'm about that's what as an old soul that's what i'm about so it's like uh, that's how it goes you feel me so basically there's seven different roles in the world that people go through and they're they're dealing with some people are born servers like you feel me day to day work to work they serve any any type of way they like to be part of service that's what their role is to serve you feel me it don't matter man woman just to serve you feel me serve this serve that go to work you know what I mean McDonald's serve you feel me everything you feel me then they got priests people that are here to preach talk about God's word always hear priests you know what I mean talking about the love of God all the time you be like oh, why is God always talking about that because he's a priest he's here to show the light you feel me he's here to talk about that that's him he's a priest's soul nigga you know what I mean his role is a priest you feel me then they got the artisans that's why the artisans are basically anybody that has to do anything with art, drama, you feel me, anything that has to do with creativity. That's what they're here to do. They're here to create and, and to entertain us and do all this other stuff and release their how they feel by what they create. You know what I mean? That's what they're here to do is just to show and elevate and do things, you feel me? And that's why a lot of people, it, it's not artists, bro. That's why artists, the real artists get mad at other people trying to be what they're here to do. You feel me? Let them create their shit. Do your role. Play your part. Don't be it. If you're not an artist, just let them purchase the art. You feel me? And be grateful. Stop trying to jump in other people's lanes and making it look worse than what it is. You feel me? That's the end. You can do whatever you want to do, but that's what. It, that's why the, the rap game is how it is right now. Because motherfuckers will see the money and they suck at the art part, you feel me, the art form, you feel me, that's why this shit is like this, you feel me, so I can't tell a grown ass man what to do, but it's, that's what's happening, so then they got sage souls, you feel me, the mages, the uh, magicians, and people that are like good at acting, and they can do their expressions, and do everything, you know what I mean, that work in uh, Hollywood, and all that other shit, that's what they are, the sage souls, you feel me, so they can manipulate their voices and energies and they feel like high and low at the same time so I, I a lot of sages like Jim Carrey's a, or Jim Carrey's a sage so you see how he is that's what a sage so does you feel me so and then they got warriors the ones that put the name warriors nigga yeah they they here to beat shit up knock shit down fucking fight and kill and do all that other shit there for the for a cause though Depending on what what kind of warrior they are, you feel me? But they they are. That's why some people. I'm a I'm a lover, not a fighter. These niggas is fighters, nigga, and they are like that. They will fucking kill and knock shit down. That that's their soul side. You feel me? That's why I'm saying we're not all the same. They got hitters on the payroll. They got niggas that do this shit. You feel me? For you know what I mean? You fucking with a nigga a bag, and he's a, he's a nigga getting the money, and they got worries that nigga that nigga's feeding my family. I'll kill you, and they will do that shit, nigga. That's why. You have to understand what you're dealing with in life. You just can't be treating people any type of way. Then they got king souls, which king souls is basically the ones that try to rule and reign and take care of everything and, and, and act as a king does, you feel me, and try to uh, rule over with an iron fist and control shit, you feel me? There's people with, a lot of people have narcissistic problems. They ain't really kings, though. They're little, they're little fucking, like, they act like they're hard when they're not. They're false. They're false. Uh, they got false courage and shit. 
But King Souls is really kings, you feel me? And you know how the king roll. You feel me? A king make other kings. That's how you know it's a king. But if a, if a nigga's just trying to act like he's more dominant than you and he's not helping you in any situation and not being a leader in, in, in the aspect and not willing to take the fall, he's not a king, bro. You feel me? He's just a, a overinflated ego jerk. You feel me? Ego, uh, the ego got niggas fucked up out here thinking they shit they not because it's pumped up and perpetuated with all this other shit that they watch on TV and they think they something they not, you feel me? Kings know when to go in and when to do certain shit, you feel me? That's the king role. Then the scholar roles, the teachers, you feel me? The ones that's trying to ele educate and elevate and do things to help the consciousness and make the brain and, and mind and capacity stretch and so we can get more smarter individuals out here and not just people just doing senseless dumb acts of crimes and shit you feel me that's what the king does you feel me that i mean that's what the scholar soul is so those these are different peoples in their different roles you feel me that we should be, be playing on this earth at all times but we're not doing it people got us misconstrued you feel me they're not following their soul type because they don't know what they is and you know what i mean it's, it's, it's getting wild so i'm here to try to be in the fucking bear of good news fuck bad news you feel me trying to show people who they really are you know what i mean and what's going on in this world you know what i mean everybody got different overleaves you feel me overleaves is what is, is different goals goals you feel me the modes the attitudes the center and the chief you feel me so these are the overleaves and the over and then so people have different goals in life, you feel me? So everybody's goals is not the same, you know what I mean? You might think so, but no, everybody got their own way of doing things, their own goals and own everything. So basically, a lot of people's goals is to reevaluate themselves, like, oh, uh, reevaluation, like, oh, wow, my life is like this, I want to do this, so let me reevaluate my whole life standards, you feel me? Like, and everything, that's the whole goal is just to reevaluate how they moving and because they fucked up yeah, and they know they fucked up they gotta look back at the shit like oh yeah let me see where I fucked up at they re love reevaluating that shit other people have to grow their goal is to grow you feel me they life the whole time I can't be stuck in the same shit this shit is hurting my soul I gotta grow I have to elevate I have to get away from people that don't wanna grow if they don't wanna grow I can't be around you that's why they cut people off and with no time's notice because they have, they feel like you're stunting their growth. You feel me? You can't stun another human being's growth and then they path. And then when you try to encompass him and try to cage him and his ambition and drive and everything, it, it's gonna happen. You feel me? You can't stop the next individual. You only can watch them. And these type of individuals, their whole goal is to grow and everything and expand. You feel me? So then they got people's goals to stop uh, is discrimination you feel me they need to stop discriminating it and be able to discriminate what's good and what's bad in life you feel me they whole shit they're like oh black people are bad but you feel me and then they don't even know you feel me what's the real shit that could be said they discriminated against them before they even knew the person what if that guy was going to help you you know what i mean but you discriminated on because you heard some shit from somebody else that was not even true and that you fell in line with you feel me like this is what's going on in this world you have to discriminate what's good and the bad for their life you feel me like if you buy somebody that's, that's not helping you get him out if you buy somebody that's helping you go with him you know what i mean like it's hard for people to do that because there's seven billion fucking people on earth you know what i mean like this shit is crazy like everybody's just with chickens with their heads cut off thinking they're going somewhere you feel me but they have to understand that they have to get these tools and mechanics first you know what I mean? They just smacking their kids all over in the head. They ain't listening to me. They ain't following me. Because that nigga got his own fucking life. You feel me? He came from your nuts. He came from your mom, the, the mama pussy. But at the end of the day, that nigga already had a life path before you even fucking came here. You feel me? Just like you did. You know what I mean? That's why people got like, all these expectations on people and shit. Like that are unreal, nigga. Like, fuck that. There's some shit people got to learn that some goals for people to learn to accept things accept new things accept uh what you can't be accept you know what i mean accept what you can't stop you know what i mean like people have to learn to accept that that's why they get hurt when they when they're like oh my god i can't believe this happened to me like when they get cheated on you feel me you have to accept it then they fucking kill themselves because of that they couldn't accept that nigga. once somebody wanted to fuck another bitch 
nigga, she wanted to fuck that nigga, nigga, like, I can't accept this, and then, ah, you know what I mean, like, come on, bro, that shit is more bigger than some fucking flesh shit, bro, stop getting caught up in this bullshit, bro, that's why I'm here, I'm here to just, I hope my voice reaches the world and the masses to help this shit, really, though, you know what I mean, niggas gotta accept what's, what they can't stop, and they gotta accept what they can, you feel me, that's all I'm saying, like, you got the, the, some people's goals to learn to accept, you know what I mean, some people go to submit, you feel me, that was too much for me, I can't do it, I can't do it, you know what I mean, submit, like, submit to the creator, submit to uh, your your nature, your real person that you're supposed to be, people wearing a lot of false masks out here, I've been, I've been guilty of it, nigga wearing a fake false mask, like, I'm at a masquerade ball and shit, like, nigga, nigga, this is the real me, nigga, this is the me that I'm not playing around with, that I need to get this fucking money to provide for my mama and my motherfucking kids, me, nigga, and my wife, me, nigga, you feel me, this is a man shit, this is man shoes that I'm feeling, this is me, you feel me, not afraid of nothing, so, you feel me, I accept it, and then, you know what I mean, and I submit to it, you feel me, fuck all that other shit, from the past previous ass shit that everybody's trying to laugh and point fingers and ridicule. Yeah, laugh at the end of the day. But I'm gonna be paid, nigga. Accept that, nigga. Submit to that. <laughs> but yeah, you feel me? Like, there's other people with different roles, always trying to, our goals is trying to dominate things. You know what I mean? Trying to, ah, this me. I'm bully. You know what I mean? Just domination. You feel me? Like, dominance. There's some people that need to learn how to step into their power with dominance. So they can be dominant But there's other people That need to sit back And stop with their Fake ass falsifying dominance That ain't even real You feel me So it's like You know you just Inflating yourself Don't let me pop you You feel me Start with the dominance Act On the facade You feel me There's people That just need to accept that And me I'm a uh, I'm a go with the flow Type person You feel me What happens happens But And uh, sometimes You gotta stop the flow though Sometimes you just Let the shit slide For too long Like you feel me? I've been inspired by Tupac, so I had to let this shit fly. So sometimes you let the shit fly for too long, but today I'm gonna say what I gotta say, nigga. Like it, love it, or hate it, I'm throwing what I'm here to do out there, you feel me? On a whim of in helping people, changing people, and I'll get money and currency out this shit so I can survive and provide for my family, you feel me? And other people that depend on me. That's all I'm out here doing. This is cultivated, uh, studies off of years of being homeless nigga you know what i mean so it is what it is but it's my flow then they got different pe people with different modes of living and how they act you feel me modes like they have a reserve mode don't talk to me get away from me i don't like get out of the <laughs> niggas be reserved like a motherfucker you feel me like they rsvp their whole life you feel me so that's that's what they that's a lot of people that are like that out here that they're scared and you know what I mean? They're on reserve mode, so they got other people with passion, drive, and determination that's gonna do shit. That's one of their modes. Is I got passion for this. I'm gonna do this. I don't care what nobody says. You know what I mean? They're gonna always do what they're here to do. You know what I mean? The passion, the drive is always gonna take them to where they need to go. They follow their heart. They follow their guidance. They're not afraid. You feel me? That's what goes on. Then they got caution people. I don't know about this. Uh, I, yeah, let me think this over. Uh, it might be, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, they're cautious on themselves, they're cautious on their feelings, they're cautious on everything, and then they never go nowhere because they're too cautious on what, what people are going to think about them, and they never do anything, you feel me? So that's why a lot of people have that mode of being too cautious, you feel me? It's good to be cautious. That's what fear comes in, good to have fear. But being cautious too much, it, it, it takes life away from you, and you start caring about what the next person doing because they're not doing what you want them to do you feel me you, don't, you can't be dealing with caution like that you know what I mean that's all I'm saying like so power power is power basically is where everybody's trying to exude their power and trying to say oh yeah I'm I, I my power I'm, I'm more dominant than you, you know what I mean? A lot of people are like just power hungry, power trip, power like anything. If they feel weak, they have they have to go find power, you feel me? That's what the government is doing with the weak people. They have power, power problems, you feel me? They, they We don't have shit. They took everything away from us, but they still trying to make, they have so much power in their head and arrogance and everything that they want us dead, you feel me? They're like, 
We have to take everything. We have to take the food stamps. We have to take the housing. We have to take everything. We don't want nobody to have nothing. You know what I mean? Like, that's that because power seek weakness. And they made us weak. Hurt. Harm, shattered, all this shit, everything, you feel me? That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to fuck us all up. So, you know what I mean? You have to understand that it's a syndicate. It's a society bred upon power and often niggas heads that don't listen to what they say. You feel me? Like the queen from uh, Alice in Wonderland. So that's what they're about, power shit. But, you know what I mean? I'm all about power for myself to power to influence people and do good things and inspire people. That's my power, you feel me? But certain people got different powers, you feel me? So then the, uh, another another mode is basically perseverance. Consistence and uh, persistence. Never gonna give up on life in general. That's what I am. I, I'm a, I persevere through all the time of me being homeless, all the time of me going to jail, all the time of me not having money, all the times I persevere through that shit. And, and corrected myself and made me right, you feel me? And, and made my fucking alignment and uh, chakras and my vibration right, you feel me? And it's all good, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking, I'm still able to talk, speak, to breathe, you feel me? Like, that's I persevered through all the hatred, I persevered through all the uh, adversities, I persevered, you feel me? That's what a lot of people are always gonna persevere, you feel me? I, I, I persevered like a cockroach during the end of times, so, yeah. I mean, I'm always gonna be here, nigga. So it don't matter. My essence influence is always gonna be here. A lot of people got fucking uh, modes of aggression. They got hotheads, nigga. They flip at the flip 